matchup with the Kansas City Chiefs. Fielded about a yard deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was. As he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. At their own 16-yard line. I don't need to. I don't need to. Mahomes now on first down. He finds McCoy. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got a bike. Oh, he just snuck out there. And he just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. On first down, Mahomes forced it, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brandon Graham in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. From the gun on third down, Mahomes got his man complete over the middle. That's McCoy. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early in the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football? So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Chris Jones on the stop. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. A good run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. 20! And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 33 and a first. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting the tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Taking it in from seven yards away. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Elliott Good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Mahomes now on first down, buying time to his left. And he slides to avoid the hit. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Gets it to Hill, it's a jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now McCord. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. Mahomes on target there to Hill. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Well, they got down seven zip. They said, we'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play. And that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. You can't block me. You can't block me. Hey, Echo. Now wins. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Let's go. Fans.
fans a reminder. I have a note card here that says ad lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad lib. If you print, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauntin. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he gets it all the way down to the three. And a game there of 30 big ones. He showed his shiftiness and his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? Right now, the options are wide open. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Darren Sproles with his second touchdown here in this first half. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. Elliott good on the extra point. And that makes this a 14-8 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or I guess don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more it's what I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hill. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Mahomes going to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hill. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as it will come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hill. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And he works it to the 30-yard line here right at the 30. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. A gain of five. And their first down, Chiefs. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. 
And this one is right down the middle. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. From the 22, here's second and eight. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Go, go. 180! All right, T, let's All right, T. On third down, Howard. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. They'll run it now, out of the gun. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. First down. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. Four, Tokyo! 56. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon Jeffrey, 59 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. He'll try and run it up the middle. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because... And that's caught inside the 30. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 77 yards, as they have now chopped this lead down to three. Hey, when you're thinking about your opening drive in the third quarter, you're thinking about exactly that, putting together a drive. But instead, what did we get? Big pass downfield, touchdown. I, I thought, okay, you know, just sitting back in my chair, let's get eased in, a couple runs, no, boom. Yeah, forget the body blows, folks. Let's throw the big shot right now. 
Point after, right down the middle. And that will get him one closer. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll begin the drive with Sproles. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Darren Sproles, 30, the 20, 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Good job. Good job. Darren Sproles, 74 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own. And you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a Major League Baseball game when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, Grand Slam home run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Derek Barnett able to maneuver in for the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. After the sack on first down, Mahomes throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hill. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And Hill with it over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. Mahomes now to throw. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Gets it to Hardman, a jet sweep. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not your conventional play call, but that's okay. You probe the defense a little bit with some of everything in your playbook. That way they no, have to no. account for everything as the game moves on. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. Nine yards is the pick up there and they'll have a second and one. They'll go again to McCoy. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards to pick up, first down. Hey, 43, 43, 15. They'll run on first down. McCoy. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Mahomes firing complete, and he's taken down inside the 30. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again, it's complete. 
Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. Watch it, creep. Attack, attack. Safety creeping. Check. 53 is my seven. Let's go. Six man. Now the homes. This will be caught at about the five. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That time, the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now here's Mahomes, eluding the pressure right. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Their turn.